Some big news released recently in the PS4 jailbreak community, and it's very likely that you now have a jailbreakable PS4 in your possession, uh, whether it's the OG launch model, the PS4 Pro, or the PS4 Slim. And I wanna show you how you can check to see if your PS4 is jailbreakable, run you quickly how you can jailbreak your PS4, and get some pointers to get started with your new modded system. So what happened exactly? Well, recently a jailbreak was finally released for any PS4 that's running firmware, 9.0. Now, this is a really, really recent update for the PS4. Uh, for reference, the last firmware that was jailbreakable was 7.55, which was released all the way in the August of 2020. So unless you had a PS4 and just didn't touch it for almost two years, uh, you couldn't jailbreak it. Well, this 9.0 jailbreak makes things a lot easier and it can be run on pretty modern systems. So while the last jailbreak, you had to be running a firmware that was almost like two years old, this 9.0 firmware that this new jailbreak works on was released by Sony in September of 2021. At the time that I'm recording this video, that puts us at around three or four months ago. So as long as you didn't hook up your PS4 or plugged it in in the last couple of months, there's a very high chance that whether your system is a PS4 Pro or a PS4 Slim or an original launch model uh, is jailbreakable right now. And it'll take like 10 minutes tops to do it. So why is this the best time to jailbreak exactly? Well, here's how I think about it. I'm gonna bet that this exact situation has happened to many, many people watching this. And you let me know in the comments if I'm right. Odds are there's somebody watching this right now that maybe got a hold of a PS5 very recently. You know, you got lucky, it was like a Christmas gift, or you just happened to get a drop from Walmart or, you know, GameStop, and you got your PS5, you hooked it up, you super happy with it, and you were all ready to play your game and stuff like that. You took your PS4, you put it away in your closet, and just forgot about it. Did I get it right? Okay, look, there's probably a lot of PS4s in closets right now that have been sitting there for a really, really long time, and I'm telling you, Right now, it's never been easier to get into jailbreaking PS4s. The best part is, is that it's like a really stable jailbreak compared to the older jailbreaks. I mean, with like 7.55, that thing would crash all the time. You would have to do seven or eight attempts before the jailbreak actually went through. Now this one is just, it's so much better. Usually one attempt and you're done. You're already in, it's, it's almost instantaneous. So I'm gonna have chapters down over here or just in the description somewhere to, you can just skip to whatever you wanna see. But first, let me show you how you can actually check to see if you can even jailbreak your PS4. Before we start, I want to let you know that I have an entire video highlighting all the cool stuff you can do with a modded PS4. If you're new to jailbreaking PS4s, I would highly suggest you watch that video first, even if you're not planning on jailbreaking anytime soon. So you're first going to hook up your PS4, and the first thing you're going to do is run to the settings tab, go to network, and turn off the internet. This is super important. You don't want to end up getting accidentally auto-updated. Then you want to head into system, system information, and if you see 9.0 right here, congrats, your PS4 is moddable. You don't have to do anything else. You can just go straight to jailbreaking it. If this is you, you can just skip straight to the jailbreak process chapter. If you boot up your PS4 and you see this 9.03 or any other higher number than 9.0, unfortunately you can't jailbreak your PS4. I'd suggest just putting it back in your closet or just keep it disconnected from the internet until some new news arrives. If, if this changes somewhere in the future, I'll leave a pinned comment under the video to let you know. If you boot up your PS4 and you see a number like this, like 8.50 or 8.52 or something below 9.0, don't panic. You can still jailbreak. You just need to update your PS4 safely to 9.0. So let's show you how to do that. First, we got to download the 9.0 firmware. I'm going to leave a link in the description to a website where you can download it for free. Okay. While that's downloading, let's grab a flash drive. Any flash drive works. I'll leave you the one that I use in the description too, in case you need one. Uh, I like this one because it has USB-C on one side, but it can switch to USB-A when you need to. Plus it's super cheap. You, you really should have one of these somewhere. Make sure there's nothing on it and we're gonna format it. On Windows, right click on the flash drive, hit erase, and make sure it's set to XFAT. Leave everything else alone and click okay. On Mac, open up disk utility, Click on your flash drive, hit erase, make sure it's set to XFAT, and click OK. Now that it's formatted, let's open up the flash drive. Make a new folder, call it PS4. Open it. Make another folder, call it Update, in all caps. Open it. Drag and drop the PS4 file into this folder. You gotta make sure it's spelled ps4update.pup exactly. Uh, if it's not, rename it. Once that copy's over, we're ready to update. Before we start, I would suggest checking your notifications to see if you have any other updates already downloaded on your PS4. If you do, delete it. Okay, let's plug in our flash drive now. Go into settings, scroll down to system software update, and you should see the 9.0 update ready to install. 
hit install, and then just go through the process. You know how this works. Odds are you've probably installed a PS4 update at some point. Your PS4 is going to restart, and after that, you're done. You're officially on 9.0. Now that you're on 9.0, now we can start the jailbreak process. First things first, we got to connect to the internet, but we're going to set it up so that way it's safe and it won't be connecting to Sony servers in any way. Hit connect to the internet, pick wired or wireless, depending on how you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And when you get to this screen, hit custom settings. Follow along with the rest of the settings, you know, log into your network, enter your password. Your IP address is going to be set to automatic. Host name, do not specify. And when you get to DNS settings, choose manual. Okay. Type these into your PS4. Uh, these are specific hosts that will block your PS4 from contacting PSN domains and Sony in any way, shape, or form, so you'll be safe now. It'll also block automatic updates, so your PS4 doesn't get automatically updated overnight. Once you're done, hit next. Proxy server, do not use. And you're done. Internet is safely set up. If you want to check that it worked, you can go back into the settings and hit the user guide. If you did it right, you should see some anime lady and some other stuff that is very clearly not the user guide. <laughs> okay. Now that that's working, let's make sure that we're super safe. Go back into system. Automatic downloads. And uncheck everything here, so that way it'll never auto-update again. Now, we're ready to start the jailbreak process. We're going to need a flash drive for this, so just grab any flash drive. Uh, you can reuse the one we used to update earlier, since we won't be needing those files anymore. Go on your computer, and I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can download the jailbreak made by PooBest4. Uh, he's the guy who made this jailbreak. Click on xfathacks.img, then click download. All right, we got to set up the flash drive to make it a mountable image drive. On Windows, you can use the app Win32 Disk Imager. Uh, link is going to be in the description if you want to download it. Okay, open the app, then click the blue folder, and select the fat hacks thing we just downloaded. Device is going to be the letter that your flash drive is assigned to. Uh, if you don't know what that is, go into your file explorer, hit my computer, and you should see it right here. Once that's done, leave everything else alone, hit write, and let it do its thing. And you're done. The flash drive is ready. If you're on Mac, you can use an app called Belina Etcher. Uh, same concept, pretty much. Just drag and drop the image file we just downloaded, select your flash drive, and hit flash. Okay, we can unplug the flash drive now. It's all ready. Don't plug it into the PS4 just yet, though. Open the user guide on your PS4, and it should automatically redirect you to this exploit page. Click on 9.0. And hit Golden. And off you go. Now, your PS4 is going to freeze for a second. Uh, it's going to look like the whole thing crashed. Just be patient. You're going to get a pop-up here. All right? And once you see this pop-up, you're going to plug in your flash drive. I want to mention that seeing this message right here usually is a good indicator that your flash drive was detected. Then hit X to exit out of the menu. And if you see this, you're done. Your PS4 is officially jailbroken. It's a really simple process, right? Now that you're all set to do whatever you want with your PS4, I have a whole video on all the cool stuff you can do with it on my channel, but I want to give you some stuff you should download to help you get started with your PS4 first. Now, first off, at this point, you can remove the flash drive from your PS4 or leave it in. It, it doesn't really matter. But every time you restart or shut down the PS4, you will have to do the whole process of going to the website, plugging in the flash drive and jailbreaking every single time. But good news is, as long as you leave it in rest mode, the jailbreak will persist. So you don't have to do it all over again. Now, most stuff you're going to want to install on this thing is going to be transferred over using a flash drive. No, you can't use the flash drive you used to jailbreak. You're going to need a second flash drive. The files that you install on your PS4 are called PKG files, and you can get lots of different useful ones off of the internet. Let's use the Homebrew Store, for example. You download it, put it on your flash drive, plug it in, and in your settings, in the gold head menu, you should see the package installer. That's what you'll use to install 99% of stuff, and yes, that does technically include games. Click on your package file, and it'll install it. After that, you can go back to the main menu and see that it installed properly. Here are some applications to get you started. I, I show you in my other video what these things do in depth, so check it out after you're done watching this video. Anything else, I would highly suggest checking out the PS4 Homebrew subreddit, as these guys are constantly coming out with cool hacks and homebrew applications to use on your jailbroken PS4. 
Oh, and honorable mentions go to the two big guys in the scene, Modern Warfare and Mr. Mario 2011. These guys have taught me so much over the years, it's not even funny, and they're constantly putting out more in-depth tutorials for super specific stuff for the modded PS4s. So go check them out too. All right, go have fun. And if you're not sure what to do next, click on this video right here to go check out all the cool things you can start doing on your jailbroken PS4. And thanks for watching.